previously. You've got the chutzpah. And now back to the video. What's going on guys? Kaisers here and welcome back to another episode of Persona 5 Royal. Now in this episode, we're going into Kaneshiro's bank because our loyal friend Makoto here decided to get us into trouble. So now we're going to go into Kaneshiro's bank and see what's up. So I hope you enjoy the video. Kaneshiro's bank. And those are the shadows, I'm assuming. What business do you have here? Hmm. I had a feeling this would happen. Yep. Come at us. <laughs> no, no, wait! Yeah, don't. She's one of Kaneshiro's customers. Yep. I'd like to speak with the bank president. Yeah, where's Kaneshiro? Excuse me, but do you have an appointment? No, but let's make one. I need to talk to him. Now let me through. Yeah, let us through, bud. Let him pass. It's Kaneshiro. That voice. It's Kaneshiro. Yep. Yo, banks have presidents? Yeah. Yes, but not the political sorts. In theory. Yeah. Alright. So here we go. Please wait. Receptionist to the right, towards the back. I strongly advise that you do not attempt to go elsewhere. Yeah, might as well do what we're told. We have Makoto with us, so we can't get into fights. So let's just take this nice and slowly, and no one will get hurt. Receptionist just passed this door. Yeah, we know. Shadow, don't need to tell us. We're not idiots. Receptionist to the right, don't go anywhere else. How many times are you going to tell us that? We already know. So right in here? This is the reception office. Hurry on inside. Don't tell us what to do, Shadow. We're here, so what? A mountain of cash. How many beef bowls could I eat with this? Uh, I'm not sure. It's probably fake money. Unauthorized entry, property damage, and other disturbances. That comes to 3 million yen in total. You're here regarding that, correct, Miss Beautiful President? There he it is. quite tough gathering so much money. I'd be willing to give you a loan, you know. Shadow Kaneshiro. Some big purple bitch. You gonna call it off, then? No. A loan. The interest rate is 10% a day. Hmm. 10% interest a day? Um... Uh, that means... <laughs> She's doing the math in her head. Day is... It's 300,000 yen. 300,000 yen a day. There's no need to be alarmed. I have a more manageable option for people like you. That was your plan from the beginning, wasn't it? Yeah. Quite the impressive insight. A creepy-ass smile. Yeesh. Nijima-san. Or should I say, the younger sister of the beautiful prosecutor, Sai Nijima. Yep, Makoto's Sai's sister. How do you know that? Please don't underestimate our intelligence network. Oh boy. My, what wonderful goods have come falling into my lap. Oh boy. Don't be ridiculous! Young women are such great assets. They lack strength. Be it social, physical, or mental. You're gonna disrespect women like that, you sexist prick? It's as if they only exist to be devoured by the strong. Wow! Yep, he's a sexist prick. That just might be the rule since the dawn of history. My god, what the hell? You truly are despicable. Yep. You better be ready, Kaneshiro! We're gonna snatch your treasure from you! Hmm. <laughs> Don't make me laugh, you petty thieves. My Citadel has the highest security installed in it. Yeah? And we're gonna break through it, no problem. Oh, shit. Anyone will do anything for money. I'll rob you of your lives as easily as I breathe air. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> get them. Oh, get back, Makoto. Oh, Jesus. Oh, boy. It's Mr. Kaneshiro's orders. Eliminate them at once. Oh, boy. Come! 
Now we got these chivalrous nice. fiends. So let's see what we can do. Uh, I guess the best we can do is lower their defense, so let's go with my Rakunda. There we go. Um, let's see. Ryuji, you buff yourself up. Here we go. There we go. And on. Uh, let's see if what fire can do. Oh my god, that does a lot. Okay, good to know. Um, let's vicious slice them. Strike them. Okay, they resist that. Oh, jeez. Oh my god, that does so much. Nice. Let's go. So if that's the case... Yep, let's heal the boys and the lady. There we go. Alright, Ryuji, let him have it. You rampage. Come on, Ryuji! <sighs> Whatever. Thanks, On. We can rely on you. Oh no, we're getting back up, boys. Here they come. Oh boy, you've got more company. So in that case, let's do it again. My Rakunda. Um, let's see. You headbutt that one. There we go. This. There we go. Look at that, double burn. Then, let's do giant slice on that one. There we go. Ah, uh, use case is off. Nice. Okay, okay. And then let's get rid of you. There we go. There's more coming? Oh, jeez. Oh boy. Oh boy. What the? There's no end to them. Have they really been hired with money? Looks like it. We're in trouble at this rate. Let's run. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. You just get off. <laughs> Stop getting in that pose, dude. Yeah, we gotta go. Why did the security guards turn into monsters? Those are the and shadows. What are those supernatural powers. It's our personas. We'll explain later. Has it been the personas you mentioned? Yes, yes, it was. Does now really look like the time to be asking them. Then let's go. We need to retreat. Oh Rakuna, my God! Make sure you don't get separated from us. Yeah, stay close. We gotta go. Hurry, Joker! The exit's just over there. What do you think I'm trying to do? Just shut up and let me go. Jeez, I'm trying to get out of here. You're like talking up a storm. <laughs> There's no end to them. Oh boy. Guys. You seem to be in quite a pickle. How dare you sneak around, Kaneshiro? Those would be my words. However, I do thank you for providing me with such wonderful goods. It's time you disappear. Oh boy. <gasps> Managing a bank is tough as it is. So, it's my policy to kill clients who are more trouble than they're worth. Wow. Having one impertinent brat disappear is enough to set an example in that other world. Wow. Please, stop! Um, careful, Makoto. Oh, I wouldn't damage an asset like you. They're dead men walking, but you'll be just fine. Jeez. Your sister is quite a beauty, though. I'll make sure to make her my personal slave. Oh, if you bring her as your sex slave, dude, I will fuck you up. Once I get bored, I'll just sell her off. Oh, poor sis. Oh, dude, she that's low. Successful. If only her younger sister wasn't so dumb. My sister has nothing to do with this. My god. Then you better start taking customers tomorrow. Jeez. All you gotta do is endure it, and do as you're told. Wow. Endure it. Mm. Do as I'm told. You're gonna listen to this piece of shit? You'll learn three million yen in no time. Although your life and everything along with it will be a complete wreck by then. Wow. <laughs> oh boy. 
I've been listening to you go on and on. Oh boy. Shut your damn mouth, yep. money grubbing asshole. Let's do this, baby. Summon your persona, Makoto. Have you decided to tread the path of strife? Yes. Oh, here we go! Let us proceed with our contract at once. <laughs> I am thou. Thou art I. Oh, baby! You found your own justice. Please, never lose sight of it again. <laughs> yes, dude! Your graduation from your false self. Yeah, Makoto. <laughs> Biker Queen came to play, baby. A persona? No, dude. That's a bike. <laughs> I can feel it. Myself. Me. Yes, dude. Brown out, brown, brown out, down. Woo! Nice. Brown out, brown, brown out, down. Nice. Brown out, brown, brown out, down. Da 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 You better earn your keep, or else I'll kill you. Bring it on, fuck boys. Come on. Ever. That's the spirit, Makoto. Right, Johanna. Johanna, baby, let's do this. Just because I normally behave myself. I am done playing nice. That's the spirit. Let's go, Johanna! Full throttle! Alright. Enemies agitated. Take them down and make an opening. Yep. We got it. Let's see. Let's go with my fray. Yep, that's one down. So let's see. There we go. Let's go. Let's go with my Rakunda. Actually, let's do this. Wait, where is it? There we go. Dormant Rush. Ooh. Okay. And now with that, let's decrease their defenses. There we go. Ouch. All right, rampage for Yuji. There we go, one down. All right, on Maragi. There we go. Oh boy. Ouch. There we go. All right, Makoto, you heal us, because if we die, that's it. There we go, and let's finish him off. Oh, you're still living? Doesn't matter. Makoto, care to do the honors? There we go. Now, let's get out of here. Yep. Let's make a break for it. There we go. Yusuke's level 20. Damn, with the new skill, Mabufu. Nice. We know how to get in now. Our objective's been accomplished. Yep, let's get the hell out of here. Well, how are we getting out? Um... There's only one exit, right? Yeah. So, you're totally the fist of the Phantom Star now, huh? <laughs> Do you want to get smacked? <laughs> I'm going on ahead, so follow me. Alrighty. Ooh. Damn! Just break through the front Damn. door? Damn. Yeah, exactly. Okay, we have a path. Let's go. Uh, cat bus. Get in. Yeah, let's get out of here. Eat a dick, fatso. So you'll so. stand against me no matter what. Very well. I'll wait for you all. There's no escape in reality. Nor will you break through the security system here. Oh, we will, fatso. It doesn't matter what you do. You can kiss your bright futures goodbye. I think the only future we're saying goodbye to is your fat ass's future, okay?
And there we go. Yeah, talk about wild. Yeah, that was sick, Makoto. That was no Aikido. That was some hardcore ass whooping. <laughs> exactly. I am so not pissing her off. Feel like she'll rip off my arm. Yeah. She does exude that aura. Yep. Oh, stop it. <laughs> this is the most exhausted I have ever gotten these past few years. Jeez. But it felt pretty great. <laughs> I never thought I'd become part of the Phantom Thieves I was after. Why is everyone saying Phantom Thieves out loud? Is there no secrecy here? Sis might faint if she found out. <laughs> you mentioned her earlier. Yeah. She's a prosecutor for the district, and she's investigating the Phantom Thieves. Yep. Wait, ain't that bad? Ain't that bad again. No need to worry. <laughs> A normal investigation would never lead them to a world like that. Well, that's good. Then again, it must have been fate for this to happen. What do you mean? I can't be like my sister. Hmm. I had a feeling that there'd come a time when we wouldn't see eye to eye anymore. Makes sense. I'm thankful to have a sister who works so hard, but... There are times I feel sorry for her, too. Aww. And after hearing my persona's voice, I clearly understand how I feel now. Mm -hmm. It appears you're not as reserved as you make yourself seem. Mm. I was just doing whatever the adults told me to. Yep. Which sucked. Won't she be perfect as our advisor? She's fearless and has a sharp mind. Oh yeah. Sounds good to me. We've needed someone like that for a while now. Oh yeah. I'd be honored if I can help out. We would love to have you. We had way too much testosterone anyway, so I feel much better. Oh. It's from Kaneshiro. He's reminding us of our debt. So the Kaneshiro over here doesn't know what happened inside the palace. Nope. And if he did, we were fucked. That's right. But his palace will be affected if the real Kaneshiro's cognition changes. We can't be lax. Yeah. Seems it'd be best to avoid unnecessary contact with him until then. Pretty much. Three weeks left, huh? Yeah. There's that security system, too. Yep. But if we pull this off, it'll definitely be great! Yeah. We'll crush him like a fly. I'll make him regret making me angry. <laughs> Anyways, let's begin our operation tomorrow. Yep. First, we need to secure a route to the treasure, like always. Yes, like we always do. You guys are finally starting to get used to this. Yep. Of I'll be we are. waiting for the call to meet up. Alrighty. Now we got Makoto on the team, baby. Oh, hello. Damn, motorcycles are cool. I wish my persona was like that. Yours is on a ship, though. Dude, you kidding? Motorcycles are way cooler than dumb boats. How are you gonna call your own persona dumb? It's a pirate ship that's way better than just a freaking boat. It'll be like a song, I am a phantom on a steel horse I ride. Don't say such things. And for the record, I am most certainly not wanted. Honestly, I'm, I'm mostly surprised you know how to ride a motorcycle at all, Nijima Senpai. You got a license? A regular one, yes. Nice, I can't wait to get my hands on one, too. That aside, mind if I change the topic for a moment? What is the matter? I'm sorry, everyone. I know I'm not in any position to be saying that, I truly do. However, I must apologize. It was my actions that dragged all of you into this. On top of that, I misunderstood your true intentions in this. If only I could have realized that what was happening to Suzui-san, too. Come on, we don't need to talk about that now. It seems there are still lingering issues on everyone's minds. Now that's not the time to be talking about that shit, though. Don't we gotta be doing something about Kaneshiro? He's right. Very well, I understand. Anyway, I will do my best to make sure I don't slow you all down. Well, we were at odds with each other until just a while ago. Yeah. But Ryuji's totally right. We need to work together to overcome this. Yeah. Hey, another box came for you. It's our revival set. Hell yeah. There we go. Awesome. 
Hey. A motorcycle shaped persona, huh? Oh yeah, that was freaking sick. You know, I can turn into a car too, so it's like I feel a sense of familiarity. Yeah. Maybe you are a persona? Ha, uh, no. I'm supposed to be human. Yeah, I know, but those were the options I was given. Well, motorcycles are nice too, but it can't carry large numbers of people. Yeah. I really am special after all. Huh? Hmm. Carry? No. Take somewhere? You're remembering something? Something just crossed my mind. Yeah, what's up? It's no use. I can't remember at all. Aw. Huh. Hmm. Eh, there's nothing I can do about it if I can't remember. Yeah, I get it. I need to concentrate on Kaneshiro for now. Unlike you guys, Makoto's clever. So we can expect great things from her. Oh, yeah. But man, you really do have something special. Aw, thank you. It was a coincidence. Looks like I better step up my game, too. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like my bomb with Morgana is growing deeper. There we go. Kitty talk. If a negotiation with an animal type shadow fails, you can try again. Aw, thank you. Morgana? Right. Be sure to use that, or put that to good use. I know. After we deal with Kaneshiro, I should consult her about mementos, too. Huh. I'm sure Makoto's brain can... Huh. Joker Hello? falls asleep. <laughs> he is uh. out. No point in waking him up. We got Yusuke, and now Makoto. This guy has quite the luck. there be some reason for it? Maybe. Nah, that can't be. <laughs> I'm sorry for asking you here like this. Oh, okay. Oh no, it isn't a problem. I actually find it refreshing to be asked to the student council room. <laughs> though it's somewhat nerve-wracking as well. <laughs> Makes sense. I think I'm a bit nervous myself. Aww. Anyway, um, I wanted to apologize. Aww. I'm really sorry for everything. It's okay. What do you mean? You know, how I blamed you for Kamoshida's sexual harassment? Aww. Well, I wanted to apologize for that. I've honestly been meaning to this whole time. Hmm. <laughs> to Kamaki-san. Yeah. It's okay. I realized later that Shiho was calling out for me, and I wasn't there to help her. Hmm. I didn't want to admit my own guilt, so I took it out on you, Nijima-senpai. Hmm. I'm very sorry. Aww. Hmm. Hey, there is no need for that. In <laughs> fact, I think the two of us are pretty similar. Oh? Huh? I was unable to save anyone. Not Suzui-san, and not any of Kaneshiro's victims. Hmm. I kept telling myself I wasn't at fault because I was simply following orders. But that was all a lie. I felt like I would be admitting my own worthlessness had I not shifted the blame off of myself. Hmm. Fear of that worthlessness was probably why I acted so harshly toward you and your friends. Aww. I'm deeply sorry as well. Nice, a nice little heartwarming apology between these two. I see. Hmm. In that case, wanna call it even? Hmm. Even? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. How about we leave this conversation in the past? That'd be good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, but one more thing. You're not worthless, Nijima-senpai. You were a bit reckless, but you're the reason we found a way into Kaneshiro's palace. Yeah, if anything, you helped us out a lot. And you even obtained the power to change people's hearts. You did that all yourself, Nijima-senpai. Yep, that was all you. <laughs> that way of thinking is very much like you, Takamaki-san. Hmm. When you confronted me about Suzui-san, 
I realized how dishonest and small I was. Hmm. You're always very direct. That's what helped me finally realize the error of my ways. Hmm. It turns out I'm a little slow on the uptake at times. <laughs> hey, can I call you on? Hmm. Um, yeah. I... I'm going to do the same. M M Makoto. Ah, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> How about we get something to eat before we go home for the night? Aww. Oh, I know a place. That's awesome. There's a crepe shop at Central Street that totally stuffs their crepes. <laughs> do you want to split one? Aww. Mm, let's each get a whole one, and then we can go half and half on those. Nice. Oh, yes, let's. After school today, right? Hmm. That's so heartwarming, dude. I realize this is a mite late, but how shall I refer to you, Ichima-san? I believe some courtesy should be shown to those who are our senior. Oh yeah, should we call you Nijima-san or like Nijima-senpai? No need to be formal. Just treat me the same way you would anyone else. Aww. Alrighty. Would that not be rude? I already just call her by name. For real? Did something happen? That's a secret between us girls. <laughs> Damn it, that sounds like fun. <laughs> All of you may call me by my first name. No need to hesitate. Very well, I shall do just that. Hey, are hey, you Karusu. You, pay attention. Is that how you listen when someone's talking to you? I feel a murderous intent. Oh, try me, bitch. That's right. Got our proficiency up. <laughs> well, whatever. Moving on. Hey. <laughs> there we go. And we got our charm up because of that, dude. Let's go. At a boy, Joker. What? Increase from head turning to suave. There we go! That's what I'm talking about. Well, let's actually see Maruki. Because we need to get him rank up. So the more times we can get his confidant up, the better. Hey, Maruki. <sighs> well, Karusakun, I just found out how scary cats can be despite their cuteness. Huh. Yeah, where's this coming from? So... Oh, it happened on my way to school this morning. I spotted a kitten that had gotten itself stuck up in a tree. I tried rescuing it since I felt bad for it, but I ended up with the clawing of a lifetime for the effort. Aww. I had no idea a cat's claws were so sharp. <laughs> I know, right? Speaking from experience, eh? It really does hurt a lot. But I was able to rescue the kitten, so it was still worthwhile. All I really have to do is make sure to put antibiotics on the scratches anyway. Well... Well, let's move on and talk about a different kind of pain. We discussed this for a bit last time we talked. Actually, the pain felt within one's heart. There are all sorts of ways to identify and diagnose physical injuries and illness, but when it comes to pains of the heart, we're working in unknown territory. There's so much we haven't learned yet. Treating trauma sure is different, or difficult when it's invisible. If only we could somehow directly reduce emotional pain in a healthy way, like putting antibiotics on a scratch. That would be great. Right? Something like that would be wonderful. Unfortunate as it may be, we all know there's no topical medicine that can properly heal a heartache. Not only that, psychological issues are even more complex. Here, allow me to demonstrate. <gasps> oh, Karuasukun! Woe is me! My heart is in such pain! It's like I'm being pierced through the chest! <laughs> what are you doing? Oh my. I have such a torturous burning deep inside me. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> sorry, that was poor attempt at acting. Please don't look at me like that. <laughs> but, uh, basically what I'm getting at is, your own emotional pain is the only kind we can fully comprehend. That seems obvious, right? But it's absolutely vital to understand. A person's heart, their pain, cannot be seen. Even if they spent their whole lives expressing it to others, there is no way for them to truly grasp it. It's not like we can directly look at the hearts and remove the root causes of their pain. But for me to do any good in that area, I need to conduct further research into the heart. More specifically, I need to learn how the heart reacts to the world around it. That's the first stepping stone to a breakthrough in the, in the field. Once that's been figured out, we'll not only comprehend psychological pains that were once unknowable, 
but will even be able to perform more effective treatment for those people with wounded hearts. That's a grand plan, dude. That's awesome. It's nothing so grandiose. But hey, if we can get rid of people's pain, that'd be for the best, right? I'm no fan of pain myself. Well, uh... On the other hand, people have laughed off my idea as just a silly, pointless dream, and I can't say I blame them. But still, you take the time to listen to what I have to say, and you actually try to understand. Thanks to you, I can tell I'm actually getting someone with my theories. How can I phrase it? I guess I could say you're making this hazy, hard-to-grasp idea finally appear before me? You know, you could very well become a counselor yourself someday. Say, would you like to try becoming my assistant? Of course, I am on a shoestring budget, so I won't be able to pay you. Oh, that sounds like fun. Oh, oh sounds surprisingly great. eager. Maybe you really will become a skilled counselor in the future. Joking aside, I am truly grateful for your assistance. Thank you, Karusuku. I sense Maruki's gratitude for me. That's weird. He really doesn't like pain. That's so weird. Counselor rank four. All right. He doesn't want people to experience pain. He just wants people to be happy, I guess. Let's put a, a pin in that for today, shall we? I hope you'll lend an ear again when you've got the time to spare. Now, I know you've been waiting for this, so let's get to the mental training. Thanks to Maruki's mental training, my mind feels stronger. All right. Max SP increased by five. Yep, always with the snacks. Happy Pop. Be careful, okay? Yeah, we will. So I'm pretty sure Shinjuku has a thing where you could, um, get some Mega Fertilizer here, I believe. Welcome! Yep, Mega Fertilizer. So let's get five of these. There we go. And now let's see if memory serves right. There's a book in here. I can get. Take your time! Battling. Oh, no, they got rid of it! Yep. Son of a bitch! That speed reader book is my only chance to read books faster, man. Damn! Uh, I gotta figure out when I, that book is available. I guess what we could do is. Let's see who's out. Sojiro. Iwai. And no one else. So let's just hang out with Sojiro. Well... Try brewing a cup of coffee from step one. Just listen to what I tell you. These beans are Colombian of medium fine city roast. Oh, and don't let the water boil too much. Okay. You're gonna be fine. I'll be here the whole time. Yeah. Not bad. Though I guess anyone could do something as simple as just brewing it. Making a blend, on the other hand, is a different story. Mixing beans at random won't do you any good. That's because the acidity and the flavor profile all depend on the bean ratio. Pretty deep, huh? Yeah, tell me more. It's interesting. Oh, somebody's enthusiastic. If you're really that interested, feel free to try out whatever combinations you want to. Oh, but hands off the expensive beans, got it? Yeah, we got it. Next up is the curry. There's something special about its flavor. The truth is, a scientific genius actually came up with the perfect spice combo to complement my coffee. Something about the quantification of taste? There's no formula for flavor, but it is pretty damn good. Anyhow, we don't make compromises when it comes to food service. Our stuff's gotta wow the customers. This is a tiny shop, after all. Self-satisfaction is the only thing that keeps me going. Oh, it's this dude again. You! <sighs> Haven't I told you I don't have the money? Look at this place. Do you see many customers in here? Oh, no need to hide it, Sakura-san. You must have saved plenty from your time working in the government. Aren't you taking care of that employee right there, too? For nothing more than charity? I wish you'd just show me the same kindness you show others. <sighs> if you're not planning on buying anything, can you please leave? I'm expecting a phone call, so I don't have time to chat with you. I don't mind if you take the call in front of me. I can talk to your little friend here in the meantime. So, should we keep talking until your call comes in, or would that be too inconvenient for you? Well... It looks like Sojiro's in trouble. What should I do? Let's call his phone. Yep. Get him out of trouble. There we go. Oh, that's the social services call I was waiting for. They come around pretty often to make sure the guy's not on... They're not getting in any trouble. Want me to introduce you? Oh, that's right. I have some business I need to take care of myself. I'll come back later. Ha! Eat a dick. Jeez. Does he really have nothing better to do? 
<sighs> I guess I could explain what's going on. He might try to drop by when I'm not around. That man is an old acquaintance of mine who's short of cash right now. Looks pretty friendly, yeah? Don't let him fool you. It's all an act. I'm surprised to say, though. I'm surprised you were quick-witted enough to pull that stuff off. You really saved me back there. Thanks. I feel like my bond with Sojuro is growing deeper. And there we go! LeBlanc Curry allows you to make curry that slightly restores SP of all allies. Alright. Hey, there we go. You can make curry on days when there are ingredients for curry in the refrigerator at LeBlanc. You will be unable to make curry during the day and after school when the cafe is open. Try cooking at night when the stove is free. Okay. Still, why do people... Why do you poke around in other people's troubles? It's easier just to ignore them. I guess that's just the kind of person you are, though, huh? Is that time already? I have to report to the cops if it wasn't related to her. Related to her? Oh, uh, never mind no, that. Anyway, that's it for today. Go study or something after you close up. Okay. There we go. Get some more kindness. And we got that ranked up, too! Empathetic. All right. Went from considerate to empathetic. Awesome! Now we're all rank three. Hello. Good morning. Morning. I've been thinking a lot about personas and palaces since yesterday. Yeah? That floating bank really reflects Kanashiro's personality. Oh, yeah. He's flying around so no one can trace his steps. He doesn't trust anyone. Yeah. I bet security's tight in there, too. Yep. That's why we should get moving soon. Why don't we go to the palace today? I would love to, Makoto, but I have some confidants I need to get going before I even go to the palace, so I need to think about it. Understood. I'm sure you have your reasons as the leader. Yep. I'll leave my schedule open after school, so talk to me anytime. Yeah. We have to get our confidants going, and once we get that squared away, then we'll go to Kanashiro's palace. But yeah, I'm gonna have to end it right here because I am out of time for this episode. So we got Makoto on the team, and once we get those confidant ranks up, we will go into Kanashiro's palace. So within the next few episodes, I'm gonna be focusing on getting everyone's ranks up, and when I am ready, or when I think I'm ready, we will head into the palace. So thank you all so much for watching this episode of Persona 5 Royal. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and comment down below if you enjoyed. And if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications notifications that way whenever I upload you guys will be the first to know. Thank y'all so much for watching and I cannot wait to see y'all in the next episode. Peace.